marks the 20th anniversary of the tragic events of September 11, 2001. Many innocent men and women perished that day, some victims of the attacks and others who were first responders trying until their last breath to save as many people as they could. The small flags placed around the flagpole represent the 2,977 men and women who lost their lives. Today we honor them, and we remind ourselves that we must never forget their sacrifice. At this time, please direct your attention to the flagpole for the raising of the flags and the presentation of the colors by our Marine Corps JROTC cadets, followed by the national anthem sung by members of the AHS choir. Tuesday, September 11th, 2001, will forever be etched in the history of our country and the memories of its people. 
I would like to invite Cadet Staff Sergeant Imani Jones to recount the events that took place on this day 20 years ago. On a clear on a clear and sunny late summer day in September 2001, Al-Qaeda terrorists aboarded three hijacked passenger planes, carried out and coordinated suicide attacks against the World Trade Center in New York City and the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., killing everyone on board the planes and nearly 3,000 people on the ground. A fourth plane crashed into Pennsylvania field, killing all on board after passengers and crew heroically attempted to regain control from the hijackers. The following is a chronology of the events of 9-11 as they unfolded. All times are Eastern Daylight Time. At 8.47 a.m., Mohammed Atta and the other hijackers aboard American Airline Flight 11 crashed a plane into floors 93 through 99 of the North Tower of the World Trade Center, killing everyone on board and hundreds inside the building. At 8.47 a.m., within seconds, NYPD and FDNY forces dispatch units to the World Trade Center, while Port Authority Police Department officers on site begin immediate evacuation of the North Tower. At 9.03 a.m., hijackers crash United Airlines Flight 175 into floor 75 through 85 of the World Trade Center's South Tower, killing everyone on board and hundreds inside the building. At 9.37 a.m., hijackers aboard Flight 77 crash the plane into the western facade of the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., killing 59 aboard the plane and, 150, and 125 military and civilian personnel inside the building. At 9.59, the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapses. At 10.07 a.m., after passengers and crew members aboard the hijacked Flight 93 contact family and friends and learn about the attacks in New York City and Washington, they mount an attempt to retake the plane. In response, hijackers deliberately crash the plane into a field in Somerset County, Pennsylvania, killing all 40 passengers and crew aboard. At 10.29 a.m., the World Trade Center's North Tower collapses, 102 minutes after being struck by Flight 11. At 5.20 p.m., the 47-story World Trade Center collapses after burning for hours. The building had been evacuated that morning, and there were many casualties though the collapse forced rescue workers to flee from their lives. At 8.30 at 8 p.m., President Bush addresses the nation, calling the attacks evil, despicable acts of terror, and declaring that America, its friends, and allies would stand together to win the war against terrorism. Please join me in a moment of silence for the lives lost and the lives forever changed by these events. incomplete without taking time to honor and thank the many men and women who risked their lives each and every day to ensure the safety of others. On September 11th and for many days after, first responders worked tirelessly to save lives, search for survivors, and begin the long process of recovery. The sacrifices they made will forever be remembered by the families touched by their selflessness and the Americans across the country who witnessed their dedication. They are true heroes. We have several representatives of our local emergency responders here with us today. Please join me in recognizing these brave men and women. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you everyone for joining us this morning. We cordially invite all police officers, first responders, and honored guests to join us for refreshments at the front of the school. Thank you. 